Hello, my name is Taylor Jean and I am from Evolution 1079 and today I'm doing the Evo Lounge podcast with Kyla Pearson. She works in the film and TV and music industry and today she's going to share a little bit more about being um, a female and one of the youngest and some of her favorite things about working in the industry and yeah, so hi Kyla, how are hi, you? Hi Taylor, it's so nice. <laughs> here thank you for having me and thanks for the lovely intro <laughs> you're welcome um we're happy to have you here and i'm really excited to talk to you today so how did you get to where you've become in the film and tv industry for being so young because you're oh, you're 21 right yeah 21 going on 22 december 31st oh nice you got yeah, a very so end of the year birthday <laughs> yeah i got fireworks and everything you know awesome it's so because of my strange birthday, I actually started working in film and TV when I was 20 years old. Uh, it wasn't the plan. I never <laughs> said, hey, I want to grow up. I want to be in film and TV. I want to be an actress. I want fame, fortune. That was never any of my plans. Yeah. I was actually taking the science route. Okay. But around October, end of October, beginning of November, I got a message from a Canadian producer. Uh, his name is David Cormican. He runs um dctv so he sent me a message out of the blue he found my profile online that had a bit of my cv and some of my work attached to it and he's like hey i'm looking for someone who can be a graphic designer for a couple television and film properties that i'm working on and i didn't believe that that was real. <laughs> like you know yeah and that's he's cool worked on shadow hunters a lot of people know that from netflix so just this big shot producer is reaching out to the small town girl That's this crazy. Town that nobody can pronounce. So yeah. I had a hard time believing that was true, but I took the right. meeting and the call anyway. And uh, that's how it started. I got offered wow. a three month internship and I've been working on one last project for the past little while since. And wow, yeah. that's crazy. That's so cool. Yeah. Yeah. You know, you never really know like whether to believe when you get random messages, but like taking the shot is just worth it sometimes. For sure. And yeah, and you know, it's amazing that the first project that I worked on in this industry was Northern Rescue, which was done for CBC Gem and Netflix in the oh, States wow. and for Canada. Wow, that's a big it. thing. I know. And it's just that's like right cool. off the deep end, you know, like you didn't want to be in this industry. And then it's just like, <laughs> oh, there you go. But I've been designing for a couple of years um, prior to being in film and TV. So I definitely had the skills. It's just totally different. And you just got to get used yes. to all the close deadlines and everything changing. Yeah. So do you just do graphic design or do you do other stuff in the um, industry as actually, well? Actually, it's mostly graphic design for film and TV. I'm looking to get more into marketing as well. Cool. And And, you know, in this industry, we wear a lot of different hats. Like sometimes I'll be in a project and I'll be like, oh, well, hey, we need music for this project, or I know an artist, let's, let's call them up, let's see if they're available. You know, okay, it, I don't so. do sync placements, really, but like, you know, sometimes when you need someone, or you're like, oh, this person will totally fit, let's give them a call and see if it can work. This industry, everyone knows everyone. So really? Everyone's cool. just like a call away type of thing. So yeah, so once you build those connections, it's easier like, oh, this project is cool. This is something that they would love to work on. Let's see how we could all do it together. That's really cool. Yeah. And I guess that's kind of how music ties in with that for what you what you do. It's you can... actually pretty funny. Uh, two years ago, I just met uh, an amazing Canadian artist on Instagram and we like connected and I helped him out for a while. Mm -hmm. And uh, he introduced me to this whole scene out in Alberta and BC. Right. And all these That's how you artists got that I didn't yeah. know existed, you know, and I started listening to them for a year and I got really into them and everything. Yeah. But it wasn't until the pandemic hit that I really started actively working in the music industry as well. Right. And supporting, you know, independent artists, Canadian artists, Indigenous artists, because the world stopped, right? So yeah. they had more time to connect with everyone. They weren't on tour. And yeah, they're one of the sure. industries that got hit the hardest without yeah, any live really gigs. Different. They lost a yeah. lot of their income. I connected with them and I started working with a couple of my friends and I started, you know, helping them out, just lending them a hand, doing some graphic artwork for them for their singles or helping them with marketing. Cause I also work uh, for a marketing uh, agency as well. Oh, that's wow. part of the coaching industry. So I have a lot of like that experience and also in management. So I was just taking that knowledge and sharing it with some artists so they could have, you know, grow their platforms and 
be heard and find different ways to adapt to the online world with losing like their income from live gigs. Wow. You sound like really busy. (laughs) Yeah. Yeah. It never stops. No, honestly, but I love every minute of it. And, you know, I will take the sleepless nights and I will take, you know, the days that like I'm strapped for time and I don't have time for me because yeah. I am one of the lucky ones who knows what I want to do with my life. Yeah, and I'm, able, no kidding. and I'm able to be a full-time creative and I've been a full-time creative for the past two years now without having to work a retail job. Like this is yeah. not my side gig. And it was, it was scary at first, but I'm so proud of how far I got. So it's great to be making a difference with yeah, my no work kidding. as well. It's definitely something to be proud of. Um, Thank you. Yeah, of course. Tell me about some of your biggest idols. I know you've got to collaborate with some of them and stuff. So tell me about that. Yeah, I've, I've got to collaborate with a couple. Uh, some I can't say yet because certain projects are under NDA. Okay. NDA. okay. Uh, I can tease that I am on a project, which is a, a film that's going to be shot in Montreal, most mostly, mm-hmm. that I'm actually cast in. So it's going to be the first time oh, I'm in front cool. of the camera. Oh, fun. and I'm collaborating with a pretty big name on on it. I can't say who it is. Okay, that's okay. <laughs> but yeah, it should be released sometime next year. I can't tell you the exact date, but okay, I'm pretty excited that's about fun. it. And I'm also doing the graphic art for it. So I'm going to wow. do the key poster and, you know, just help and see if they need any type of marketing type for that as yeah. well, like you know, your social media and stuff. So I'm really excited about that. Uh, obviously working with David has been really great I've got to work on a lot of cool projects Uh, House of Night there's the whole book series that's really like popular for high school teens as well yeah Uh, I actually got to work behind the scenes on that project a bit Um, yeah and some of the cast actually reached out to me and thanked me for the graphics that I did to promote the show oh wow that, and award win. You feel that good. was really nice. I was curious about exactly what you meant by overcoming one's upper limits, glass barrier, and adversity route. Oh, okay. Well, obviously, mm-hmm. like I said, going full-time creative is a big step and it's a big jump because a lot of people say you can't make money as a creative. You know, yeah. it's not sustainable. And yeah. especially like at the time that I made the big jump, I quit my cushy job working at a bookstore. You know, I quit without having another job lined up. And, you know, I took yeah. time to study and I started learning marketing online as well. Like I had graduated college before I took my marketing online. And uh, yeah, so I just took an internship and that wasn't paid for three months. So I was living off right. my savings. Right. And yeah, and I was like, okay, I don't want to go back into retail. I don't want to go back into retail. And, you know, I kept working on it and working on it, building my portfolio, putting my name out there. Yeah. I got into social media last year. Yeah. I have never really had social mm-hmm. media in my life. So yeah. I'm like, oh, okay, cool. So now I have to learn and navigate this whole new world. And that's a whole big step too that's like such a big industry like obviously when you start working in that industry you're a bit starstruck and you're like do I belong here you know like I'm like you said I'm pretty young I'm 21 yeah so to be that young and to be working on such big projects with such big names who have been in like the industry for years and decades and have such a like well-known established careers Mm -hmm. that was a lot of pressure and not to mention all the you know the major price tags attached to some of these shows yeah so it's like oh my god if I mess this up this is not good so I had to kind of get over that little bit of like you know imposter syndrome type of thing as well yeah Yeah. I have one more question uh where do you hope to go in your career honestly I don't have any big plans to work at like let's say Disney or Paramount that is I could tell you right now like LA and all of Hollywood that's not my vibe that's not where I want to go Uh, If I could do anything with my career, I hope it's that, you know, how long it is, whether it's 10 10 years or 20 years, is that I make a difference with my work, that I'm able to support independent artists, I'm able to support, you know, up and coming producers and Canadian talent, Canadian studios. We have a lot of people from the States who come and film here in companies, and they don't even mention they're filming in Canada, they pass it off as the States, you know? I think there's a lot of good talent in Canada and it's often overlooked. I just want to make a difference and do do it because you love to. I love that. That's, that's the best way to do it because if it's something that you're passionate about, you'll succeed. 
it For just sure. takes yeah that the it's success, not the fame yeah. or whatever it comes if it comes it comes yeah okay well so nice talking to you today Oh, thank you. It's so great talking to you. And again, thank you so much for having me on the show. My name is Taylor Jean, and this is for Evolution 1079. So thank you for watching.